guys so god showed me something last night um i don't even know how i'm gonna articulate this word i'm just gonna say this like the lord is very merciful he's very merciful and one thing that god will do is he will give people chance after chance after chance right but he will also be very clear on instructions and you know when you are a child of god who's sensitive and you know that you did something wrong like and the holy spirit corrects you it's like you repent right you repent you apologize to god even if you don't apologize to a person most people really don't because most people have pride and most people don't want to um face people most people are embarrassed but they'll repent to god right but i want to just say remember that that video i put out where i said that the second half of this year things are going to be revealed right Whew. God has given a lot of people who have wronged you and betrayed you. He has given them mercy. He has given them time. And the Lord revealed to me that he has told people to repent for how they treated you, for what they said about you, for insulting you. He has corrected people. He has, especially people who belong to him, he has corrected them. And some of these people, they're not going to repent because of pride. Some of them, they don't want to believe that you're you're truly his. They don't want to believe that he's really doing wonders in your life. They don't want to believe that you are blessed. They don't want to believe anything positive when it comes to you because a lot of people, they have to work on their hearts and a lot of people, they're not working on their hearts. They're not working on their hearts. And the Lord showed me something relating to Nehemiah last night. And, you know... In this season, God is going to throw the insults back on their heads. The people that have insulted you, God is throwing it back on their heads. As in, the insults they've thrown at you, they're going to be shown that they were wrong. They were going to be shown that they misjudged you. God is going to show them proof that they misjudged you. That they were wrong about how they, they treated you and how they felt about you. And here's the thing, they already know because God has told many of them to repent and they chose to not to repent. They refuse to repent. So because God has already specifically shown these people, whether it was audibly, whether, whether it was through a dream, God has already revealed to some of these people they're wrong for how they did you. But now God is going to publicly vindicate, publicly exalt his children. Publicly does not have to mean on social media. It can be like when God vindicates you, it's going to be known by your family members. It's going to be known in the workplace. It's going to be known in the church. It's going to be known on social media, if it is social media. Regardless, the truth is going to come out. And when the truth comes out, there's many people who were denying the fact that you were gifted. They were denying the fact that you are a child of God. They were denying the things that you were saying, especially the attacks you went through. A lot of people thought you were lying about the warfare you were going through. They thought you were lying about the witchcraft. They thought you were lying about your attackers and who they are. They may have called you crazy. They may have called you delusional. They may have called you a liar. They may have called you mentally ill. But the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. And these people that called you a liar, that called you fake, that called you mentally ill, that called you crazy, many of them are going to have to repent for them saying this about you, for how they did you. Some of these people, God is going to give them instructions and tell them to personally come to you and apologize. And guess what? Many of them are not going to do that. That's why I told you guys in the other video, don't be surprised people don't apologize to you. Don't be surprised. It's pride. Most of the times, you know, people who are prideful like that and they don't want to publicly apologize or they don't want to apologize around the people they lied to you about um, or on social media, they don't want to apologize. What they'll do is they'll reach out behind the scenes and privately apologize to you, but they've already done public damage. And if they don't uh, privately apologize to you, what will happen is they'll start deleting things, deleting posts on Facebook, deleting posts on Instagram, deleting shady posts, deleting text messages, deleting emails. And I talked about that already in another video. They'll start deleting things because now they want to pull themselves away from the equation. But they're not running away 
from God's judgment. They can run from anything else. They can hide from anything else, but they cannot run away from God's judgment. They can't. They can't run away from conviction. Some of them will try, but they can't. And what God was showing me is that with Nehemiah, when Nehemiah was building the wall, this is particularly, I think, in Nehemiah 6, when he was building the wall, there were specific prophets that were basically trying to distract him from his assignment because God gave him the assignment to build the wall. But there was particular people who were lying and trying to make it seem like the only reason why Nehemiah was building the wall was because he wanted to be worshipped. He wanted to be idolized. And they tried to make it seem like his assignment from God was because he wanted to be idolized and worshipped when that was not the case. So they made up that lie to try to get him to go and defend himself, to distract him from his assignment. And these people called themselves prophets. This was in Nehemiah 6. They even had a prophet come to Nehemiah to try to trick Nehemiah out of his assignment. You see what I'm saying? So this is what I mean when I say that, like, not only are the evil doers, that the people who have been attacking y'all are going to go through judgment, but even some of God's children, even those who claim to love God, even those who, you know, who know better. Those who know better and chose not to do better because they allowed haughty eyes. They allowed the enemy to tempt them. They allowed the devil to use them when it came to you, when it came to affecting you, when it came to afflicting you, when it came to putting you down. And God has corrected them because God expects better from his own children. He expects better from his children. He does. You see evil a evil person out there, you expect for them to be evil. But when you see a person claim to be a child of God, praying and fasting and doing everything a child of God does, you would expect better from them. You see what I'm saying? And yes, there are some of God's people, some of God's children who he expects better from. And these people, it's like a similar situation to David and Saul. You know, Saul Saul was in good, in good hands with God in the beginning. Saul was in good favor. It's when David came around and Saul did not like David. He found every single reason to dislike David. Like he looked for everything to find fault in David, even when David did nothing to him. It got to the point where the envy and the jealousy was too much. He tried to sabotage David. And that's what many of you guys, children of God, have been going through where other believers have been trying to sabotage you or have been trying to lie on you or have been misjudging you all because they are too prideful to admit they have to work on something within their heart. And God has corrected not only the evil people that have been doing evil, but God has corrected some of his children too. And they're not repenting. They're not apologizing or they're not repenting to him about it. They still think they're right about what they did or what they said. And the Lord said he is going to allow the insults to fall back on their head in this season. There is going to be an embarrassment for some of these people. And he's going to, he's going to want them to repent. This is going to be a test for them to see if they're actually going to repent. And I'm letting you know right now, if you are one of these child, children of God, if you are not an evil person, but you know better because you claim to be a child of God and you claim to pray and you claim to love God. And, and if God has told you to repent or if he tells you to repent this year, it's very important that you do repent. Because not repenting is a blockage. You don't want to hinder any more things in your life. You don't want to hinder your growth, your progression, all because of pride. Pride cometh before the fall. Pride is what makes a lot of people fall. A lot of people block their blessings because of pride. And you don't want to block your blessings. You see what I'm saying? So... If you are someone that has mistreated someone, wronged someone, and God has corrected you, and he has told you to repent, to be obedient to him. Or if he tells you to repent for something, be obedient to him. Because you don't want to block your blessings. Right now, many people are being tested. They're being tested. Many people. And when things are revealed, that's where the real test is going to be. Because when things are revealed... God is, God is going to give these individuals an opportunity to repent, either to apologize or to repent. And not everyone's going to do it. And what they don't understand is they're blocking their own blessings by doing this. So I just want to give you guys this word. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.